Well, one family in Nova Scotia is feeling extra grateful on this Mother's Day. Kathleen Murphy celebrated her 100th birthday earlier in March during the pandemic. And then two weeks ago, her family feared the worst when she tested positive for COVID-19. But last Saturday, Kathleen's family received some good news just in time for Mother's Day. Their mom, Kathleen, received an all clear from the novel coronavirus. So to talk about all this, we're now joined by Kathleen's daughter, Kathy Walker. She is sitting right there beside her mother in her long-term care facility. Kathleen, as you can see to the left of your screen, her mom there is to the right. And we have to also note, Kathleen, your sister, Pat, who's actually holding the camera to make this conversation <laughs> possible. So to all of you, thank you for joining us right now from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Uh, so listen, Kathy, I, I, you know, I'm going to begin by wishing you, your mom, your sister, Happy Mother's Day, uh, quite the special day for, for you. But it's also an unusual day because as we can see, you are right now in full PPE so that you can visit your mother and you have other restrictions as well. Tell us about that. Lots, lots of restrictions, but that's okay. We can get through the restrictions. But mom's always cold, so it's like 90 degrees in this room. And, uh, <laughs> and it's warm. But, but you know what? I'll, I'll take more. <laughs> yeah, take warm and at the very least with your mom, because, you know, as we said right off in the intro, you and the entire family had quite a scare. What, about three weeks ago when you were told that your and mother had? Yep. I'm sorry, go ahead, Kathy. OK, sorry. Three weeks ago, we had the phone call on a Saturday that she had um, got the virus and it was pretty scary. Yes. And now we are three weeks later and we're sitting here on Mother's Day, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. Well, you say scary, but uh, I, that, I, that almost, to me, instinctively, I think you're maybe underplaying what your family was going through when you heard that <laughs> news. Well, we, we, we sort of sat and had all, at 100, we, we had the um, arrangements all made for the Catholic <laughs> on funeral. <laughs> because you can't do anything uh, right now. Yeah. And I can imagine that was frustrating because as you know, your, your mother tested positive, which probably meant what? You couldn't even go and see her inside the, the long-term care home. Um, today's the first time since March 3rd that I've seen her because um, they had shut down Northwood. Mm -hmm. um, so nobody could go and visit anybody because of the pandemic. So, um, and we were in constant contact with the nursing staff in Northwood to find out and they of course would oblige me every day <laughs> because I was calling on behalf of probably 30 other people. Mm -hmm. So instead of 30 people calling to find out how mom was doing, I would call and I would send out the, the massive text messages to everybody. Yeah. What were those days and nights like? Like I could imagine uh, if, it were, if it were my mother, I don't know if I could sleep. I don't know if I would be f able to fight off the tears, worried about what was happening. Um, every one of them. We, we didn't sleep much. Um, a lot of headaches, a lot of crying. Um, but of course, then keep a stiff upper lip when you're talking to some of the other, like the grandchildren and the great grandchildren so that they didn't know how frightened you were. Um, and we all thought, okay, you know, she'll beat this. And here we sit today and, and she has. So it's a great Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. A great Mother's Day. Uh, you know, you're bringing tears to my eye just telling, telling us the story, Kathy. Um, you know, I, I wonder if you might ask your mom how she's feeling right now after having gone through all of this and finally seeing her daughters. The gentleman wants to know how you're feeling today. You're good? As I can be. Yeah. yeah. And how are you feeling about seeing the, your two daughters today? Oh, I'm so, I really don't know. I'm so happy. You're so happy. Yeah. You're probably as happy as we are? Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and of course, everybody wants to come visit her, but right now they have restrictions. And we've been lucky enough to get in today. So we're pretty happy about all this. Yeah. Uh, you know what, Pat? I think you can hear me. You're off camera because you're holding the camera. Maybe if you just, how are you feeling if we can just hear your voice? Uh, I'm very thankful. I, I thank God for the fact that we can, Kathy and I can come see mom. I was in Florida when they did the shutdown. So um, I didn't expect to see mom till um, uh, the end of April. But um but now, you know, I'm really excited over the fact that I can see her. And she looks good. 
Mm-hmm. She looks good. She'd like to go home, and home is Northwood to her now, and that's where she'd like to go. But um, but they, you know, they've been so good to her, and they've been so good to us, just keeping us informed daily on how how mom has progressed, and we're thankful. To mm-hmm. everybody. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, to my understanding, the two of you only get one hour with your mother right now. Where do you go from here? Do you get to still visit her on a regular basis going forward, or, or is this um, it for a no. while? Well, no, we'll st- they're setting everything up, so then we'll be able to make appointments because they don't want everybody overlapping coming in. They want to make sure that, like, we came at 2 30 while well, somebody came in before that to another room. Yeah. Um, as of right now, there's um, three separate times they're going to set up so that they can keep everything very um, tight because they don't want the virus getting in here either. Mm-hmm. So um, we have to follow the rules. Follow the <laughs> rules, but you know, I, I'm so very touched and so very happy for three of you to be able to get together on this Mother's Day. Kathleen, you're looking great. Kathy, you look great despite the PPE. And Pat, I can't see you, but you sound great. So, <laughs> listen. Well, thank you. We're, we uh, are great today. Yeah. We are great today. Uh, listen, yeah. uh, you are touching so many hearts right now by sharing your story. So very happy for you and your family. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. And that was Kathy Walker sitting beside her mother, Kathleen, and the voice off camera. Well, that was Sister Pat all in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia.